Suspicions ran high today in the retrial of Claudere Barros. Prosecutors say the father should bear some responsibility for the death of his eight-year-old daughter. Atlanta News First Anna Murphy has been in that courtroom all day long. He's live at five inside the Gwinnett County Justice Center with more. Adam. Well, good evening, Blair. There is a new judge and jury in place for the retrial here in Superior Court of Cladere Barros. Now, earlier this morning, let me take you inside that courtroom where two Harbin's elementary school teachers described eight-year-old Syra as a gifted student whose behavior suddenly changed before her death. They said she started taking snacks, pencils, and other items from the classroom. Soon after, her father and stepmother pulled her out of public school and started homeschooling her. And then on January 30th, investigators said stepmother Natalia Barros was angry with eight-year-old Syra and allegedly hit her in the back of the neck with a wooden rolling pin. When the girl's father got home from work, he allegedly prayed over Syra for up to 20 minutes before calling 911. I wanted to ignore it. and be like it can't be. <laughs> so I continued to my book club, kind of living like this isn't happening. Until I got home and it was verified that that's who it is. A very emotional day of testimony inside the courtroom. I just got out of the courtroom after checking in, and they have wrapped for the day. We do anticipate Cyrus' siblings may take the stand in this retrial as early as tomorrow. We'll follow these continued developments. Live inside the Gwinnett County Justice Center, Adam Murphy, Atlanta News First.